Hello everybody, in today's video we will have possibility to combine uh, Arranger keyboard with virtual drums. If we want to use virtual drums in live performing and Arranger keyboard, if we are not satisfied with drums that we have on Arranger keyboard, then we can uh, use virtual drums from laptop. In my case, I'm using Groove Agent in standalone mode, no latency, no any kind of problems, so I can use it without any problem. I will start Groove Agent and we will see what I have to do here in Groove Agent. Uh, by the time we are waiting for Groove Agent, let us see which kind of setting do we need in uh, SD90. Go to Menu, go to MIDI, and you can choose Style Output Only. In Style Output Only in Arranger mode, uh, drums, uh, they have to be on channel MIDI channel number 10. And if you go to Status, in Status you have to choose Drums MIDI Output Only. Because I don't want to hear internal sound of the drums. I want to use external sound of the drums. Now I'll exit from here. My Arranger keyboard is ready to use external drums. And now in uh, Groove Agent, I have to make sure that I have proper MIDI communication port. In my case, it's Motu Express 128 port number five, but you can use any MIDI interface or you can use Catron USB connection and you have already built in MIDI, MIDI interface in Catron through USB connection. In this case, you have just to go to menu and MIDI and you have to engage USB MIDI keyboard. I did engage because I prefer to use a separate MIDI interface and uh, in many situations it showed me a better uh, result. Uh, and in this case, I don't need, if I want to transfer something from Catron, I don't need to go in a menu. And if I want to transfer information, I have to disconnect USB MIDI. If I want to transfer just uh, files and open Catron uh, as a web browser uh, for files in my computer. Now, let me exit from here. And this guy is ready. Catron is ready. Now let us go to Groove Agent. I told you uh, uh, we have to uh, choose proper MIDI port and we have to choose proper MIDI channel. It is MIDI channel number 10 and we have to load the instrument and I am loading kit with, without patterns, no patterns, just kit. And now I am going here and I will choose so one uh, Simon Phillips kits and I am going to choose Walking Rock Mix. One, my favorite kit. And now it is here and I am going to close this and I can see those elements and we can hear those elements that I have. I have three snares, regular, small and piccolo snare. It's a regular snare. And now if I want to play, it should play when I press start, all those patterns from Catron they should be transferred here and it should play from Groove Agent. And let us play it. Yes, it play. And we can see activity here, whatever is playing. So let me go to this part. Now I can mix those drums by just moving this potentiometer up and down. So with this one, I can mix internal sounds with external sound of those drums and let us play everything together. Now we have internal sounds from SD90 and external sound from Groove Agent. And now we are controlling that everything from SD90, see? What we can do here, we can change type of snare to wooden snare or to this snare. Sounds like this.
then we can tune this snare No latency, no any problem. You are just using, you are just playing those drums like they are part of the SD90. Actually, now they are part of the SD90. All sounds are from SD90, but drum sounds they come from Groove Agent. In one band, you have just one drummer, and he has one drum kit, and so it is that. Now you will make, you will make all your styles to work with that drummer with a drum kit and what is good all what is in Groove Agent is actually in general MIDI format and whatever is in SD90 is as well in general MIDI format if you are using uh, styles that you're made in general MIDI, MIDI format they will work perfectly well with this you don't need to do anything any mapping or anything extra so and it will work perfectly well So that is the way how we can use external drums from VST instruments and play them together with Arranger keyboard. SD90 Catron it has excellent drums already inside, excellent sample of the drums. But some of our Arranger keyboards, they are, don't have so great drums. They have problem with drums, with sounding of drums, how they come out. So if you are not satisfied with those uh, drums, you can instead of sampling drums and using memory always if even if you sample drums uh, they will uh, come out from the same keyboard that maybe has problem with output signal that doesn't send so clearly all those samples like uh, if you send them with one good card uh, for example i have apollo card from universal audio and uh, in this case i'm using a symphony apogee card symphony desktop in this video particularly, my favorite card is Symphony Desktop. Uh, actually, Apogee cards are my favorite cards. But I like uh, Universal Audio cards as well. They are good. And I like RME cards as well. Those three companies, I, 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 whatever you choose is up to you. It is your taste. And But every company is good of those three companies. My taste is uh, Apogee. So, and this sound that you are hearing right now, it is from Apogee card. It is coming from Apogee. So I have Apogee card and I have a Groove Agent. I have my favorite kit. Uh, my uh, mapping is perfectly same in general MIDI format like in my Catron. So everything is working very well. And now I'm just playing styles and you can mix them. You can do whatever you want to do. You can save all your styles together in Catron. Mix of your styles you will save in Catron and then after that you will just connect this Groove Agent and you have your favorite kit from Groove Agent and it will work perfectly well without any headache and you will enjoy your sound. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.